Oh no! Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and it seems like everyone is talking about this and saying, Cooling your palms is the new steroids. No, seriously, Stanford researchers determined that cooling your palms during a workout was equal to or substantially better than steroids. So just keeping your hands chilly is like a performance enhancing drug. Obviously, I need to try this out for you, you know, before it becomes illegal. Great, I'll just freeze the crap out of my, nope. You can't just hold on to ice because this won't work. I'll explain the science behind why that won't work and why I'm gonna use this thing instead, which Looks like a gun with no gun parts. I'll also explain how cooling your palms could get you more sets, more reps, push farther without feeling fatigued. But first, we need a baseline. How hard can I push myself without the magic drug? I'm going to do a high intensity interval workout, push as hard as I can, and we will see my output, the number of calories burned. And then after a couple of days rest, I will do the same workout, but in between the intervals, I'll calm calm my pools, pull my palms. And then we'll see if I burn more calories, which would mean that I could go longer before I fatigued and it worked. So now I just need to make myself uncomfortable. I'm doing a workout I do often, which you may already have seen when I tested baking soda as a performance enhancer. By the way, cooling your palms isn't just supposed to work, it's supposed to really work. Here is a smart person saying it. Effects have been seen for endurance, a doubling of output with no extension and recovery time. So we're gonna see how good I am right now and then I could potentially be twice as good. Through the magic of editing, you don't know how long I've been sitting here stalling. Okay, ready, just go. Oh man. As hard as possible. Okay, the workout is 30 seconds all out and then 40 seconds rest. And you repeat that six times and it hurts. Go! I just snorted. <sighs> okay, you can tell I slow down throughout the 30 seconds. So that's fatigue. The sneaky thing about this device is that it's arms and legs, just total body suck. Oh. Ah. And I chose this workout specifically because it generates a lot of metabolic heat. I'm on interval three and I'm very hot. Already. Yep, my core temperature is going up. Elevated core temperature is one of the most significant limiters of athletic performance, both physical and cognitive. So throughout this workout, you're watching me get hotter, which means I'm getting weaker and also dumber. 15 seconds into the not rest part, I can tell that my legs are like, nope, that's enough. And that's definitely fatigue. Last one, let's go. Okay, done. Great. I just have to do it one more time in this video. Cool. Come and take a look at the data. Total calories, 48.8. And perceived effort, one to 10, 10 being the most, I'm at 10. My legs are wobbly. I went all out because I want to prove that I can do this without your silly device. Let me take a break before we find out if that's true. Like I was saying yesterday, my core temperature was going up. Using your muscles generates heat and heat is a huge reason why you fail. Your body operates in just a tight range of temperature. And if you leave that range, you experience a symptom known as death. And so your body's like, I don't want to die. So I'll let you use your muscles up until it gets too toasty in here. And then I will shut them off. Research suggests that a reduction in voluntary activation, AKA failing, is linked to core temperature, not exercise induced fatigue, which basically means you're failing not because you're tired, but because you're hot. You are hot, by the way. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Now, what if you could stop it from getting toasty in here, then your body wouldn't shut off your muscles and you could push longer. So now we gotta find a way to reduce our core temperature if I could just put my finger on it. Oh, your palms and also your feet are your body's heat escape channels. That's why when you're hot under the covers, you put one foot out that you just know instinctively that that's how you cool the heck down. Now let me explain why your palms are such great heat escape channels. It's because of arterial venous anastomoses. And that was the first take of me delivering this line. Arterial venous anastomoses, anastomoses. Arterial venous, arterial, arter, 
Arterial venous anastin and that great name basically just means that there are blood vessels here that go straight from arteries to veins, which allows you to cool your blood right to your core. So that thing about cold hands, cold heart is real. But also those blood vessels respond to freezing by constricting. And you know this if you've seen any of my cold plunge videos, I talk about it all the time. So if they're constricting, that doesn't work to get the blood to your core. And actually it might do the opposite because then your body's like, whoa, whoa, whoa it's freezing in here. Let's up our core temperature. So my brilliant green beans idea can actually make me perform worse. It needs to be the optimal temperature, which is hard to do. So I read that it's around 53 degrees which is tap water. Great, we'll just run our hands under tap water, except then your hands will heat up the water as that's happening, so it's no longer optimal. Also, I don't want to go to the sink in between sets. And there are companies trying to solve this hard to do thing. This is the cooler. I have charged it, so I assume I just open fire. Yeah, I feel a cool palm. The fan situation going on down here, pretty quiet, and it is Pulling heat from my core, supposedly. They said their design is inspired by a computer heat sink, which is great. I love getting closer to being a robot. And they claim that this can rapidly transfer heat out of your body, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need, and we will find out if it works. But I do want to mention that you can also become more heat adapted without a device. Like your body can get better at cooling itself down, and therefore you could push longer. And I definitely learned this firsthand when I did my 30 day sauna challenge. So you can get better at sweating and dumping heat off your body, which is another weapon in your arsenal to become superhuman besides a half gun. Another thing I want to mention is that we've always known that lifting gloves are for nerds and now we have scientific proof. I mean, I always thought it was way cooler to make your hands tougher and calluses are a badge of honor that have to be earned. But now that I know that heating up your palms with gloves is gonna make you perform crappier, yeah, take the gloves off, dweeb. Now the cooler wasn't specifically made for this, but I'm using it off label. As it's time to go to sleep, your core temperature should drop. But if it doesn't, that could be a reason you might have trouble falling asleep. So cooling your palm to your core could help. And if your core temperature is correct, you will even sleep deeper, which is pretty darn cool, pun. But cold isn't the only hero. Sometimes you need heat. I actually got this for Christine because she's been having knee pain on the leg press and heat can help with recovery, improve circulation. Elegant unboxing. <laughs> can also relieve stiffness. And this has carbon fiber in it, which feels like, whoa, from the future. This is the Bob and Brad Heat Knee Brace. Let's get it turned on here. Hello? Oh, you, you can't see that. Okay, it says 20, 40, 60. Well, it's hot already. That was like two seconds. Also, it is far infrared heat, which penetrates your tissues more and joints. And also I'm gonna look super cool. Once again, I want to be a robot. Yeah, I can definitely feel that. And it's right exactly where I would need it had I had knee problems. Oh, but it is HSA and FSA eligible and gift ready for anyone seeking comfort through thoughtful self-care. Christine, I got you something. What do we got? For your knee troubles. Ooh. Wait, is it gonna heat? It's already heating. See, it says 59. This has an auto shut off at 60 minutes. I already feel it. I know, right? And that's on level one. Hit the plus and minus, it goes up to five levels. Wow, I can already feel the difference. That's so fast. You know why I like it? Cause I could walk around with this versus like a regular yeah, thing. Yeah, and look like a cyborg. Yeah, but like a heating pad, you got like that awkward wire and you're like, you can't walk around, but now I can cook all my protein while I'm- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you want to flex at the end? Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> Now it is time for test two. And of course I focused on keeping all the variables the same. So yesterday was plenty of recovery. I'm ready to go again. And it is the same time of day. I even ate the same thing before this. So I am sciencing very hard for you. I did want to mention that we shouldn't expect this thing to make me get stronger. That's not what cooling your core body temperature does. It will help me go longer. So in this case, I won't be pushing the pedals any harder, but I will potentially be able to push them longer in each interval. And that's why the calories would go up. And in the case of something like bench press, I wouldn't be able to bench press any more weight, but I would be able to potentially do more sets and more reps so I don't get stronger in the moment. But because I'm doing more sets and more reps, that means I do get stronger over time. If this works, let's find out. So again, the score to beat is 48.8 calories. And it is worth noting that when I did this baseline workout for the baking soda video, it was 48.7. So there is a reason that I use this workout for testing. 
because my performance in it is a very consistent down to the point one. So now we know if there is any increase from the hand coolie thing, then that will be remarkable. <sighs> Why do I always get nervous? Okay, ready, go. <sighs> Oh no! <sighs> Guess we're also testing if it can take a beating in the gym. Here you go. Hello, hello. Oh no. Okay, I thought I broke it. You have to hit it twice. <sighs> Ooh, that's nice and cool. I am totally distracted from the fact that I'm already out of breath. I really do feel a difference on the hand at least. Who knows about here? Go! <sighs> please. Even a non-dominant hand some love. They do say you should switch hands. That is optimal. Sweating already. Go! <sighs> oh. Okay. It is fun pulling a little trigger. Very satisfying. <sighs> Okay, I'm feeling tired. Maybe I'm not tired, I'm just hot. My brain's a little scrambly, but I do believe I mentioned that after 15 seconds, my legs start to give up, at least in the baseline workout. Oh, let me reassess that on this interval. Go. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was about 17 seconds when I started feeling fatigue in my legs. Or maybe I'm incredibly suggestible. Okay, come on, suck that heat. This is the last interval. Go. <sighs> sucks every time. I don't know why I do this. This is, this is stupid. Why do I have this channel? Oh, how? Perceived level of effort, 10. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna keep using this, even though we're done, because it feels nice. And we are at 49.8. Yeah, that is an entire calorie more. Whew. Okay, one calorie might not seem like a lot, and it's certainly not the 200% that Dr. Huberman said I would get. But specifically for me with this workout, that feels impressive, like this thing worked. Although there are other ways, I think, to show off how much this has an effect, because the CEO of Cooler told me that he does push-ups to failure, which, by the way, 50 is the number of push-ups he does to failure. So in case you wanted to know that the guy that created this is a beast. And after about four sets of that with two seconds rest and cooling in between, he will see a 20 to 30% increase in the number of reps he can do. And that's awesome. So let me know if you want me to test this out or some other palm cooling or do that specific workout in a future video. Let me know in the comments. But overall, I do think this palm cooling thing is really interesting. There's a reason why it's so super trendy right now and everyone is talking about it. So I would like to experiment more, subscribe and stay tuned. And if you liked this, you'll like seeing when I tested out that smart gym for 30 days, letting AI train my bench press. I'll put that down there for you. No, there's no way. Ah! Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie. And you'll notice I have abs, but who cares? My bench press is embarrassing. In this video, we are going to find out just how strong I can get my bench.